perfect. Let's do it. All right. Well, joining us on the line tonight is another member of the world of Lucha Underground, which, of course, you can see every Wednesday night on the El Rey Network. And we are so pleased to be welcomed by the one and only Carly Perez, a.k.a. Katrina. Thank you so much for joining the two-man power trip of wrestling. Thank you guys for having me. Oh, it's our pleasure because I tell you what, mm-hmm. it's got to be our our favorite topic uh, right now is to talk anything and everything Lucha Underground. Obviously, season three up and running and going so well. And from a fan's perspective, we've only seen a couple episodes and uh, the season has wrapped. But what are your thoughts on season three so far and what we've seen uh, as the viewer? Um, I, you know, season three compared, uh, it's just getting better. You know, I, I, from each season to season, which, um, you know, I don't, I don't get to see everything. I see it for the first time as you guys do. So, um, putting everything um, in perspective and seeing, you know, the storylines and um, every the characters and everything developing, um, you know, I think by now season three people really have a grasp of who they are and what they bring to the table. And um, it's just, it's just getting better and better. So um, I'm ready to go for January for season four. Oh my gosh. That just has us chomping at the bit because it's so cool to see all the different things that pop up and all the, uh, the crazy twists and the crazy turns. And every time we talk to somebody from Lucha Underground, we always use the same, like, buzzwords, like episodic or that it's, uh, you know, it's kind of like, uh, you know, it's, it's not a wrestling show. It's a TV show that features wrestling. Yeah. But, you know, with the things that you've done thus far in your career and wrestling companies and wrestling matches, getting to have that, those acting chops and getting to do the acting, do you like the blend of both the acting and wrestling together? I love it. I think I um... – it was the role was in some ways I believe made for me. Um, it just happens that I, I know the wrestling business as well. Um, but my passion from day one of stepping into the wrestling industry was really developing characters and and the acting um, technique that comes into that that is lacked uh, very much in the in the industry. Everybody gets so worried about the the wrestling part, they, they forget to bring the character, you know, in and out of the ring. Um, and, and other companies too, like so many gimmicks and characters are handed, handed on and then taken down and then handed back and then handed to someone else. No one really gets a grasp of who they are and what they can bring to the table. And we are able to do that. Um, and I'm, I couldn't be more grateful to, be able to do that with my character and have the opportunity to be free with it because I, I couldn't do that anywhere else. So, And your character is no doubt one of the ones that really stands out on paper. And then when you get to see the execution, it's absolutely unbelievable. But just to talk in terms of almost like a generic question, but the progress so far of your character, are you satisfied with everything that's been going on? Because it's got every week we see it, it's unbelievable some of the things that uh, they come up with next for you. Yeah, d- definitely. I I like the I want to be challenged. I want to I want layers to her. I want, you know, and I I'm grateful that they trust that. You know, they trusted me with that in season 2 and now the build up in season 3. Um, you know, I I've been able to show different things um with Katrina in each season and not just stay, you know, um uh, like singular. Um and I've I love it. I love that they um, bring all those things to the table and able to play with it. One of the most important things about your character is almost like the mystique to it or like the darkness. You just talk about kind of like that dark look you have and then the the lick of death and where that came from. Um, It was that, you know, now I I get asked that um, quite a bit. And and my, our showrunner, Eric, uh, and even the Joseph um, comes up to me after certain days and they're like, so do you wish that you would have thought of something else than the lick of death? <laughs> because there's just been <laughs> some time. And it gets, you're going to see ones in season, in this season where you're like, whoa, Carl, <laughs> you know, like <laughs> Katrina just went to a whole nother level, you know, uh, and that will be coming up airing probably soon. But um, there's, you know, I wanted Day one of stepping foot into Lucha, there was only, like, 
literally six of us there. Um, it was the first day I met Mill, and um, um, they gave me like a paragraph of of Katrina, of what they small paragraph of kind, you know, this evil seductress type and you know manipulative. And I was like, well, we, you know, there's been a a lot of characters like that. Um, not not in so much the wrestling industry, but just in entertainment. It's always that bad girl but how can we put like a twist to it and you know you kind of have like the poison ivy thing with you know with the kiss and I'm like well everybody the kiss is generic and I you know I was like well what if I what if I lick my victims (laughs) and they're just like wait what and I was like yeah you know like like I'll own it like what if I just lick them and that that's my mark so Joseph's like all right let's try it and then next thing you know we have um of, we got the lick of death, which seemed to um, work, and it's one of those things that you do something. It's so it's not like a big deal, you know. You're licking someone, but you have to like really, you got to own every bit of it, or it just doesn't come off right. So it's it's one of those things that um, she, you know, she's she's kind of got like a. Um, I don't, you know, like a dominatrix sexual thing without it being over the top, but it's also kind of scary and you don't know what's going to happen. You know, like I wanted to bring all that to the table. Yeah, and you're definitely owning the character. feel like, you know, Carly is Katrina. Katrina is Carly kind of thing. And, and people definitely probably, you know, look at you a little bit differently sometimes. Oh, man, I you know, <laughs> can't believe you, you know, you lick that guy or, or whatever. So it is kind of a unique uh, trait to throw in there for the character. And it's good to see that almost you wanted to throw it in there. So is that cool that you can kind of pitch an idea and the writers will actually listen? Yeah, it definitely is. Look, I mean, look at what it's developed into. You know, um, some, some of, some people need more guidance and help to what to, you know, bring to the table for their character. And there's other people who just, know what they can pull out of them and nobody's going to know better than yourself. And, um, you know, everything that I was, you know, with the scripts and ideas and characters and little small things that really add from mannerisms to the way people walk. Um, you know, a lot of it was taught to me by, by Dusty Rhodes. So, um, I, I was blessed to be able to be with him weekly for years. And, and I don't think, uh, Katrina, people wouldn't have Katrina if I wasn't, you know, um, taught the things I was taught with him. So I, I like to think of things like when I watch people uh, in the industry, like certain things they could do differently or really add to their what their persona from, you know, just the way they get in the ring to the way they look, to the way they look at somebody, the way they walk to the ring. There's like a little bunch of small, tiny little things that are forgotten, I think. And Dusty was very big on that. Which is awesome to say, you know, you studied under the uh, the learning tree of Dusty, uh, for sure. But if I could just kind of go back to, you know, like almost equating Dusty into it, but, you know, he's talking about the look and the persona, obviously, with Katrina you're so much different, but it's almost like a mythical character. And then you throw in Mil Muertes and it's just, a, mm-hmm. it's, you know, a perfect combination with you guys. So what's the chemistry like, or what was the chemistry like between you guys? Cause it seems to mesh so well. And you throw in the disciples of death back into it. It just seems to all fit together so well. It did. And you're right. Our chemistry, um, our chemistry is spot on with me and him. And I think that oozes off the camera. Um, me and Mill just kind of, from I don't know like from from day one we just we we respected each other's ide- ideas and opinions and you have to with two people you know Mill is a monster you know so he has to give to me and I have to give to him to make what we're doing believable you know like you you don't you don't feel at least I don't feel overpowered by him when I'm standing next to him and there's times when, you know, he gives that back to me where I have the power, but man, this monster standing next to me, you know, like we, he respects uh, the, you know, Katrina and the, the strong, the strength and the strong woman she is. And I respect that he's my, he's my monster and, you know, he does what I say, but 
I also know what, you know, that he can destroy me. <laughs> so it's like this <laughs> back and forth uh, battle, which I think is very um, intriguing. And that's what kind of keeps the chemistry between us strong. You know, we kind of manhandle each other in ways and we're okay with that. Absolutely, yes. And, and it's interesting, you know, with your character being kind of so controlling, but not wrestling so much. But I feel like in season three, we're going to see Katrina, you know, perhaps get in the ring a little bit more. This feud with Eva Lee seems like it's blossoming. So, what do you think about Katrina on more of the wrestling end and getting into the ring that way? Um, yes, you will see that. And that's, in- um, <laughs> and I think the, the build up was you know, going into the three years is definitely worth it. And I think the fans want that. Um, I'm, I'm very happy that they didn't have Katrina get into the ring. She doesn't need to go into the ring. Um, And it's part of what makes her so mysterious is the fact that she's not put out there like other people are. Um, You know, they're, they're very selective on what they do with certain characters and, um, Katrina in particular, you know, they, they want to keep it more of a mystery. So you just give a little, you know, and um, compared to other products who just, you, they do things for no reason at all, no explanation. There, there's meaning behind every single step and every single scene you, you see. And there's meaning behind when she does get into the ring, it's going to be, it's going to be for real, you know, and it's going to be for a fight. So um, I'm happy that they, they didn't overexpose her in that way. And I'm perfectly fine with just being a heavy character on the, on the show and not so much a wrestler. I'm, I, in my mind, if you can keep fans satisfied and get yourself over as a character without stepping foot in the ring, uh, you, you know, you have the right, you know, love and support from people. So I'm okay with that, you know, um, and you guys will, I hope, hopefully enjoy uh, the end of season three when she does get in the ring. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, yeah, no, we can't wait for that. We're definitely, we're waiting on uh, bated breath. It's been uh, quite the build, but as we uh, we wrap up here, we kind of look in the old, uh, you know, the old crystal ball, looking forward, whether it's in Lucha Underground or whether it's in acting. uh, If you looked into the five-year crystal ball and you see yourself in five years, what do you think you're going to be doing Is it going to be acting? Is it going to be wrestling? Is it going to be a hybrid of both? But where does Carly Perez see herself in five years? Good question. Um, Well, I'm seeing Lucha's not going anywhere. So that's that. Uh, Whether how long uh, Katrina's around, you know, I'm um, definitely not positive. It's just an uphill ride. Um, You're going to see heavy acting, but this industry, I'm very passionate about this industry, and I went um, the things that are on the horizon and are on um, getting presented to me are, are very good, solid things that only helps both parts of my career. And I want to come back and forth, kind of the way The Rock does go back and forth. I would, I would love to do that because it's just this is there's nothing like uh, performing um, in a place like the temple, um, you know, it, it, it becomes addicting. And I've performed, um, you know, all over when I was in SPW, WWE, but there's, there was nothing like this. I don't know if you guys have been there in person or not, but, um, I don't think I want to let that go quite yet. So, um, I'm, I'm in it for a ride. That's for sure. So five years, I'm, I'm hoping that my other goals will be met and I'll be going back and forth. We have not been to the temple yet, but hopefully that is on the horizon very, very soon. And we really thank you for spending a couple minutes with us tonight. Before we let you go, I want to remind everybody it's Lucha Underground every Wednesday night on the El Rey Network. Check your local listings where you can find it, and you can find it everywhere online, on iTunes, on Twitter, Facebook. But please share with the listeners and the uh, fans of the two-man power of wrestling just where they can find everything in the world of Carly Perez. Thank you. You guys can... um... Check me out on Twitter at Carly Leilani and on Instagram at Carly Leilani. Awesome. Thank you so much. Appreciate you uh, jumping on tonight. So I got the interview. And, uh,